Juan Pablo Montoya showed the world that he could compete for wins in the NASCAR Cup Series. In 2010, he continued that trend, running it consistently inside the top 15. However, today we will not be looking at this season. We will be looking at one of his worst seasons on record, the 2011 season. Now, of course, into the season he had a lot of hype coming into this, so expectations were high for Chip Ganassi Racing and Juan Pablo Montoya. However, it took a totally different turn. This is Surprising Seasons, Juan Pablo Montoya, 2011. The mayor, oh, oh trouble. trouble, Junior's in the wall, Montoya, Joey Logano, Logano gets hit, Edwards in the infield, and more. I just saw that yeah. coming, Mike. That was a much wilder start than what even the first start was. Ooh, Carl oh, Carl. Regan Smith. I believe Carl got in. To, to, he, he definitely got into Dale Jr. I'm not sure uh, if, if Regan Smith pushed him up there or not. Take another look at it. From Jimmy Johnson, too wide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Carl got into the right rear of Dale Jr. And Dale Jr. got into the 78 car of Regan Smith. Almost looked like Carl Edwards tried to go through a hole that wasn't quite wide enough for that 99 car. Yeah, possibly. he's trying to slip right in there and he couldn't make it. And then Dale Jr. bounced off of Carl and, and got into Regan Smith. A wild two, the target car. Jamie McMurray behind him. Montoya goes around, and what a save at 200 miles an hour. He drives it onto pit road and to the caution flag. World class right here. Rex will bring him off the corner. Here is Dick Bergman. Matt Kenseth, oh, great trouble, trouble, turn, trouble, 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 trouble on the racetrack. And it is Montoya crashing along with Greg Biffle. And again, Montoya makes a great save to come down pit road as the caution flag flies for the 11th time today. For caution flags in the 500 at 11. Top of your screen, here they come off turn four. Well, I think you got to remember something too about that 16 car. It's 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 been wrecked once, and uh, so it's not handling all that great. And Montoya just got into the back of him. And you know, Larry, one thing, and Mike, these guys have been so complimentary of each other. Oh, it wasn't his fault. Just racing. Look at that yellow car of Kurt Busch dive to the inside and escape down pit road, as does Ryan Newman. So much of that. Boy, oh, around pain. goes the 29 of Harvick. He saves it. Oh, but it's all and behind him. It. All and they behind all pile him. up behind him. Trevor Bain and Montoya, and a big crash as Boyer slams into a stop, Jamie McMurray. That all started when Casey Kane and the four got loose off two and just log jammed them up. Yep. It's into the back of Montoya right here, big time. This Montoya up off the ground. Dick Burke corner here. Yep, there he is uh, right here. This is Casey coming off the corner over here. Let's see if he gets he pushes, pushes out, pushes out. Looks like he thinks he's going to get in the wall. He gets oh. out of the throttle. Mark gets Mark Martin in the five gets into the back of Harvick's 29 car. Everything looks pretty good right here. It looks like everything's going to be fine. But then all of a sudden, these guys that are coming up on this mess on Harvick down there on the bottom, they start trying to check up, and then they all get into it. The 42 the of Montoya, the 21 of Bain. To the front now, Truex. Whoa, Whoa, no. Newman saves it. They all saved it. And Murray's still on the back, on the apron. Unbelievable. I think Juan's got the most damage out of that. No caution. And Montoya. Definitely a lot of damage on the right front of the 42 car. I don't believe he saves that race car. Thanks to Montoya. You yep. know why? You know why he, Ryan Newman can do that? Dirt track racing, man. That they get them that crossed up on dirt and save them all the time. Then 42 pounded into him and got in trouble what right here. In the world happened to Juan Montoya. I'm going to say that the back of that car met that part out there that it wasn't looking or didn't want to, with a little help. That's a lot of damage to our pole sitter. Well, let's see how. Uh, Martin Truex saw that one. Actually, Newman got a little bit of the wall, too.
Jamie Mack, the leader, whose best finish this year, seventh at Martinsville. As Larry said, that's his only top ten. Casey Kane is all over him for the front spot as Montoya and Johnson are side by side for sixth. I know one thing. I watched everybody. Whoa, Johnson! Did they make contact? Johnson spins. I was Hang on to it, man. Caution. Hold on to it. Five. It, wasn't, it was just what happens off the corner. Did Montoya give him enough room right here? Montoya was trying to make the crossover. They made contact. Yeah, he didn't quite complete the crossover. Uphill climb uh, when you're coming up out of the hole. And that's where the car gets really bad. Really oh, trouble. Oh. Turn four. Montoya's right around. in front of the leaders, too. Hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake. Oh, man, it's a good hold thing he the held the brake. Hold the brake. That He's will bring the caution out bit. for the sixth they time. You're there really really struggling to hang on to this thing for the last several laps but here's where he does something really I mean the spotters telling him hold the brake hold the brake but look what happened if he hadn't held the brake right here look who he would have taken out boom that, Johnson. that was looking that way like Matt Kenseth and Greg Biffle in particular I think we'll have to find out I think Greg Biffle will get the free pass Matt Kenseth is on the lead lap it's this gives them an opportunity to come to pit road and pack that thing full of Sunoco race fuel and maybe make it to the end. Honestly, I think when we get one to go at the end of this caution, we may see a lot of drivers hit pit road to top it off. This is right there just on the edge of the window. And, and just put a cap on this. He definitely ran out of fuel, and that's what, what, what caused that because they had to push him into his pit. Now time, isn't it, for the 20? It's time for the Better 20 go. to do something or... One back there, Mike Ted. Uh-oh, they're behind him. David Reagan. Reagan. Behind the race leader. David Reagan. No caution yet. David Reagan coming Still back wrecking. to the start-finish line. Wrecking they're wrecking again. everywhere now. They're wrecking again. Reagan with sweet redemption gets the victory at Daytona. Two separate wrecks on the last lap. Thank you a lot, Matt. Oh, 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 oh. The vibration's gone and goes, huh, okay, let's try third. Yeah, and there's a, uh, trouble, trouble right here. Montoya and the four car, Casey Kane getting together. And the caution flag is out. Try to tell you you're outside, but we're talking. Formula for it, and uh, hopefully it takes us to the front. All right, J.D., thank you very much. So one frequency working for 18 and 20, but they had three frequencies trying to work for the 11 and 18. A little more complicated, guys. Yeah, I think one of the things working against... Oh, no, trouble. Allman Digger turned around. Kyle Busch makes contact. More cars involved. Harvick is in it, one of the championship drivers. Watch the top there, the outside, 43 and 9. Yeah, it was just a big run that they had. They were going extremely fast, but it's just literally the, the rear wheels start getting picked up, and then that that, that turns you down the, the racetrack and then to the other cars. It goes back to the thing that you, the guy behind cannot see. Look at Jeff Gordon. Oh, oh trouble, trouble right there. Martin and Hamlin and Regan Smith with a hard crash. Front of you there. They both be there coming down. Watch them coming down. Burton, double zero Rudiman did not oh, hit. trouble. Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth the round. There and is. so is so the 18. Montoya's involved. Bigger story, 17 car, Matt Kenseth. Second in the championship, up against the wall. And watch Kyle Busch. See, Matt's already locking it up, getting in into the corner. He'd gotten in too hard. See the smoke. He said on that, that little bit of radio, we just heard him say, I thought I heard him say the right front was down when he went into the corner. Juan Pablo Montoya's 2011 stats are this. Zero wins, two top fives, eight top tens, two poles, an average finish of 24.6, and a dismal 21st points finish. Juan Pablo Montoya would go on to have two more seasons with the team before retiring from the NASCAR Cup Series in 2013. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is French Fry signing off. Peace out, everyone.